Consumer alert. How much money did you pay for gas this week? Just tonight, a couple hours ago, I filled my tank for less than 25 bucks. That's 14 gallons, 162 a gallon, a total of $23.30. So if you think that's low, get ready for gas prices to soon be nearing the $1 mark. That's according to some oil experts we've been talking to. Channel 4's, cha uh, Channel 4's Francesca Amaker taking to the streets, seeing what people are thinking about uh, these prices dropping and joining us now live. Fran, uh, how low are we talking here? Really? A dollar on the horizon? <laughs> Yeah, almost a dollar. You know, some people aren't just going to be doing this for sports. They're going to be doing this for gas next. But I want to go ahead and point your attention to the gas station. This is a site that can either break or make a lot of our wallets. Tonight, I met one driver who was actually doing a little jig to the pump. But we also find out that some people aren't so happy about these falling gas prices. It's that time of the year where drivers are taking full advantage of falling gas prices. And even though Florida isn't one of the eight states with the cheapest gas, we're getting pretty close, and those filling up don't seem to mind. I love it. <laughs> Not good for the stock market, but I like it for me. James Doan drives this huge Dodge 1500. He says his job requires him to run to the gas pump multiple times a week. Yeah, about $20 every two days. Wait a minute, say that again, what? About $20 every two days. So he was happy to see that gas was down to $1.75 a gallon at this St. Johns County gas station. But according to experts in the oil industry, the crash in oil prices has been so fast and so steep, it's unnerved financial sectors like the stock market. Oil's decline has wiped out tens of thousands of jobs and caused dozens of bankruptcies. Officials say foreclosure rates in oil-rich states are also spiking. Though no one knows how far crude will fall and where the damage will end, which is a big problem for Wall Street, day-to-day -day drivers like James Doan won't complain as gas prices continue to drop. It'll free up a little more money for me to do other stuff with. It'll be nice. So how low can we go? How low are we talking? This Shell gas station right off of Atlanta Boulevard is actually selling gas at 164. But if you don't live over here, I have a little tip for you, and you didn't get it from me. The Walmart right off of Beach Boulevard is selling gas for 164 on the south side. I'm live from Chess Gamerker Channel 4, the local station.